Hi, I'm Frosty. As you can probably tell from all this equipment, I'm the media guy. Still pictures, audio, video, digital, analog. I do it all. Do it pretty darn well, too. Is there a story behind the name Frosty? Sure is. A couple of years ago, before I met Scott or any other tornado chasers for that matter, I was out taking pictures of this ginormous thunderstorm that was brewing outside Norman. I'd drive for a while, jump out, snap some pictures, roll some video, jump back in, drive some more, just looking for good pictures, you know? I wasn't really paying attention to what the storm was doing until all of a sudden it got really, really dark. And then it just started pouring. And I mean, rain was coming down like my car had stopped under Niagara Falls, and the wind was blowing and the car was swaying, and then it started to hail. First just dime-sized stuff, then quarter-sized, then golf ball-sized, then all of a sudden, the windshield shatters, and a hailstone the size of a fist lands in my lap, then another, then another. Turns out, I'd punched the core of an incredibly powerful HP supercell. You'd punch the what of the who? <laughs> HP means high precipitation, lots of rain, and a supercell is a cloud formation capable of producing severe thunderstorms. The core is the worst part of a supercell, where violent updrafts can produce huge hailstones, to say nothing of tornadoes. Did you see one? That time? No. But I did roll down my window and start shooting, and I came away with photos and footage of hail that no one's been able to top yet. Overnight, I went from being Tobias Harlow, run-of-the-mill photographer, to Frosty Harlow, fearless documenter of extreme weather phenomena. What happened to your arm? What, these scratches? Ah, just a few minor war wounds. See, I was climbing the fence next to the old Fraser Creek windmill so I could get a clear shot of some mammatus clouds. And what happens? I drop my camera bag right into a patch of brambles. Thorns just about took my arm off when I went to grab it. How long have you worked for Scott? I joined the team last year after their photographer quit halfway through. This is my first full season. I'm the best thing that's ever happened to this team, I might add. I'm good. Do you know what goes in a disaster kit? If I were putting together a disaster kit, it would include a map, some flashlights maybe, and Lori Gerard and a sweet cherry red convertible. But that's me. The type of kit Scott probably wants probably has, eh, no clue, batteries, and maybe Debbie knows. I'll catch you later. Bye now. friendly. That's more like it. Welcome to Mom Paws. My name's... I know what your name is. You're that girl from up north, Nancy... Uh, Drew. How'd you know that? <laughs> Not bad for an old codger, huh? Why, I know all sorts of stuff about you. I even know your cell phone number, Miss Nancy Drew. Let's see, it's... 523-555-4399. How'd you like them apples? Someone on the Canute team told you I was coming, didn't they? Yeah, that they did. Debbie, she told me to keep an eye out for you and gave me your number. See, if something bad happens while you're all out there chasing twisters, it's important to have a way to get help. 
Staying connected in an emergency is just about the best way to stay safe. I'm kind of your emergency action central. Keep your numbers right here by the phone. Debbie fill you in the way things work around here yet? Not really, no. You canoe folk got a lot of credit here, so instead of paying cash for food and equipment and such, you can charge it. You want to buy something that's not on Debbie's list, like something from the snack section, you got to pay for it using pa pennies. Using what? Pa pennies. Like this here. A little something I invented to make coming in here a little more interesting for tourists. In fact, go ahead and take it. You could use it or keep it as a souvenir. Hey, great. Thanks. Just a mom pa way of saying nice to meet you. Debbie tells me you're pretty involved in the local theater. Now that's a true fact if there ever was one. Nothing quite like being backstage when the lights go down. Come to think of it, it's just like that moment right before the storm hits. When the world goes dark and quiet, and all you can do is cross your fingers and hope for the best. So what's this play about? About this place, of course. From covered wagon times up to today. All about the men and women that made this town what it is today. I'm playing Percy Rutherford Hardcastle, town chef and area's first librarian. Back in those days, it wasn't no small thing to return a book late. That sounds interesting. Gonna be. If you're not out chasing twisters over tonight, you should come. We're pretty near sold out, but I'll try to save your ticket. So do you ever chase tornadoes? Silliest thing I have heard tell of. Around here, you're lucky if a tornado don't come chasing after you. People who do that are just asking for it. So you've seen a tornado? Of course I have. Pretty much everybody I know has. <laughs> you research types and all your meters and senses and recorders and such. Chasing around out there thinking you're doing something all big and important. Know what the only real thing you can do when you see a tornado is, Miss Nancy Drew? Watch. You watch this dark, rampaging monster go tearing across the land, wrecking everything it touches, till all of a sudden, it ain't there no more. You can't go after it, you can't make it put everything back, you can't even get even with it, because it's just gone. All you can do is stand there thinking, now that ain't fair. That just ain't fair. Sounds like you're talking from personal experience. That I am. That I am. What else you need? Well, it was nice meeting you. I was just going to say the same thing. Y'all take care now. I think I've got everything I need. Can I pay for these supplies now? I suppose so. Thanks. Sure thing.
Whoever just came in, give me a hand over here, would you? Uh, sure. Save me a lot of time if you kindly fix the LED display on the dash while I fix the wiring out here. But I've never fixed an LED display before. Just get inside and I'll tell you what's what. Okay. What y'all are looking at is the fuse board for the screen. The fuse are all there and they're all good, but the display won't work till you rearrange them. See how they numbered from one to eight? Yeah. What you gotta do is rearrange them so no consecutively numbered fuses are touching in any direction. Including diagonals? Yep. Fuse number one can't be touching fuse number two, which can't be touching three, which can't be touching four, and so on. Got that? I think so. Good. You know you're done when the screen lights up. With any luck, I'll be done out here about the same time. The screen says it's initializing. And I'm done out here. How's that for timing? You're Nancy, the new gopher, ain't you? Well, I'm Chase. I ain't gonna shake your hand because my hand's kind of a mess. Again, I appreciate the help. What do you do on the team? Right now, I'm fixing the car the fellow you were replacing was driving when he busted his leg. It's pretty much my job, fixing stuff. That okay with you? Yep. I like fixing stuff, and I like keeping busy, so this here is the perfect job for me. Plus, I'm learning a whole lot about Twisters. You live in these parts, the more you know about them, the better. Is that why they call you Chase? Because you chase tornadoes? And do they call you Nancy because you Nancy too many questions? Sorry, that was supposed to be funny. A lot of people think that, but the truth is, it's my name. It has been since before the day I was born. Why do you think so much equipment has been malfunctioning lately? Stuff breaks. If your luck's bad, it breaks a lot. Being such a negative person, all no, Scott's like a bad luck magnet. With him in charge, I'd be more surprised if stuff wouldn't break him down all the time. How do you like working with Scott? Other than the fact that he can be ornier than a never-ridden bull in a bucking shoot and can holler longer and louder than all the football coaches in Oklahoma put together? I like him fine. Got this... Six cents when it comes to twisters. Never seen nothing like it. Kind of spooky sometimes. Is there anyone on the team you don't like working with? I like working with pretty much everybody. Oh, I suppose Frosty gets on my nerves sometimes. Mostly because he likes himself so much there seems to be little need for anyone else to go to the trouble. But most days we get along fine. The guy I'm replacing... What was the matter with his car? A bunch of stuff. Reason he broke down in the middle of that storm and slipped in all that hell was because his car had run out of antifreeze. Should I say coolant? And that's because mice chewed holes in his hose and made it leak. Do you still have the hose that got chewed up? It's over there on the workbench. Take a gander at it if you want. Do you know a way I could earn some paw pennies? Tell you what. Over there on my workbench is a bunch of circuit boards for the weather balloons where I was putting up. Now, since I can't put the board to use till it's been wired up just right, how about for every board you wire up right, I pay you something in pop pennies? Of course, since wiring up wrong just makes more work for me, you make too many mistakes and I only pay you some of what you earned up till then. Depending on how you did. What do you say? Sounds great. Like my dad always said, the best things in life are the things you earn. Anytime you want, just go on over there and start wiring up boards. There's some instructions over there that'll help get you going. Anything else on your mind? I've bugged you long enough. Nice meeting you, Nancy. Just do right by Scott and you'll do fine.
This place could really use a cat. I think that's enough. Oh, well, nice job, Nancy. Go take what you've earned. Hey there. That's it for now. Adios. do it I finished that disaster kit for Scott nice job I'm supposed to remind you to check in with Debbie she might need you to do something else will do